please meet Sarah and Julie. Sarah is a mother of four from North London. Julie is a mother of two from Cambridge. I met both ladies when I was doing the study to understand how people use internet. Sarah told me that her happiest moment of the day is when she sends her family to school, work, and is home alone in front of her laptop. And then she would spend up to four hours checking updates, reviewing photos, updating her updates, linking stuff, liking stuff. With the richness of internet, this is what she chose to spend time on. Julie thought differently. She needed to make money to pay for school for her daughter. She had 600 pounds and the idea in mind. She looked online. She found a design, a supplier, a manufacturer. She started production. Suddenly, she needed a website. I didn't know very much about websites at all, she told me. I thought, it can't be that hard. There must be a course on the internet. And there was one. After three days, she had a website. A couple of months later, she started selling her product online. The effort paid back. Her Cambridge sashels became a fashion of UK and were featured on the L cover. Here you see examples of the sashels. I let you decide whether you like them. Julie was exposed to the same opportunity as all of us who have access to internet. The difference was her imagination. Let me pause here for a second. Think about technology, coding, internet, entrepreneurship. What are the first things that come to your mind? Dull, difficult, intimidating, black screen, weird hashtags for selected group of people, mostly men? Definitely not for me. Is it really not for you? Do you even have a choice to about? Information and telecommunication technology is here, and it's now. I barely see you, so I don't know how we can manage to do a show of hands, but let me try. How many of you have a smartphone in your pocket? I trust you. <laughs> I see really little. OK, great. Thank you. How many of you would come back home if you realized that you left your smartphone at home before you left? Thank you. The, you're a good representation of overall of Europe. Uh, the study said 70% of us would come back. Technology is our reality. The question is, do we create this reality or we choose to stay on the consuming part of that? With technology, we have enormous access to knowledge. Now, with the smartphone and the internet, even in the most remote part of Poland, you would have more access to information that Clinton had when he was selected to be a president. But the question is, what do we do with this knowledge? How do we get ready to use it? Last year, I was featured on the cover of the Polish magazine, presented as a Polish girl in tech and the entrepreneurial world. You think I came here to brag about it? No, no absolutely not. Exactly the opposite. Messages that I got from the readers were fantastic, amazing, pleasing. However, they were striking. The readers were so inspired about my story because none of them could imagine that a girl from Skierniewice could do things as I do. And this is possible. It's a matter of imagination. Imagination that Julie had when she was created at her Cambridge Sashels and imagination that Yuri had when he got engaged on the stage today. And I believe that this imagination you guys have, you, you, and your daughter. 
to prove me right, let me now present on the stage a couple of fantastic girls from Poland. They all choose to have an affair with technology. Please meet Ola Orchowska. When Ola was uh, studying in Krakow, art and design, she learned that her younger brother has diabetes. The family was devastated. They didn't know what to do. Ola, for her final dissertation, decided not to do a standard art project. She built the game. The game to explain to kids what diabetes is and how you can live with that. With that game, Ola won the global competition and was accepted to one of the leading think tanks of the world. She spent the whole summer in Silicon Valley at NASA, at Singularity University. There is another Polish girl that is studying in the US now. Instead of following financial path, she chose to start her life from the beginning and started programming. She is now studying in New York and has a fantastic quote in her Twitter account. She says, my future is not what it used to be. Please meet Ella Made. Ella Made, a Syrian entrepreneur and a dancer. At the age of 21, she started her company with a couple of friends, a boutique to develop web and mobile applications for different companies in Europe. The business was growing fantastic. After a couple of years, they decided to do something else. They partnered with a fantastic person from Israel and now building a truly global company. They have a headquarters in the US and a development hub in Krakow. The clients are from all over the world. They hiring up to 100 fantastic developers and they claim they are just at the beginning of the journey. Additionally, Ella organized a couple of conferences in Krakow and they are considered one of the best in Europe among the development hub. Ella took a couple of months sabbatical leave to learn dancing in New York and now st decided to stay in New York to develop her tech career there. We wish her all the best. Joanna Soha, an architect, but a designer and creator by heart. She pushes her imagination and decides not to sit in one place, but travel the world, travels the world and work from different locations. She's looking for inspiration in the most amazing places all over. She's working, for example, from Buenos Aires to create one of the funniest Kikiest, most quirky company from Poland, where they're developing the new underwear for boys with geeky designs. It's funny, but when you think of that, doing fun, it's not easy. Ella and Joanna are friends. Actually, I should say best friends. They, together with Mariusz, were accepted to Y Combinator. It's the best tech accelerator of the world. They had the company. They applied, they were selected, they gave 6% of their business and went to the US for three months and were taught how to run business. They were the first Polish team to do that. All these stories are possible because the girls are courageous, curious, willing to work hard and learn. At this moment, you might be sitting in the chair and thinking, does Kama want me to drop everything I do and become a hardcore developer? No, that's not my point. That would be dull. But my point is that you guys understand that feeling comfortable with technologies will make your life full of possibilities, regardless the field you are in. Just think, a doctor. Instead of having a one in two weeks a follow-up visit, you could talk to him every couple of days to check how your recovery is going. You don't go wait in the hospital, you have two, three minutes video call, and just to make sure that everything is under control. You feel more secure, the doctor can use his time more efficiently. Car dealer, they're selling cars uh, instead of 
thinking what do they need to do. They have a procedure written up for them. They know what email to send. They know what phone call for, to make. They know how to approach them. Wouldn't that be easier? To me, become comfortable with technology means that you need to understand how computers work. The language to communicate with the computer is called coding, programmowanie. If you just get the grasp of the overall concept and understand the basics, you'll feel way more comfortable. You could start thinking around and be more adventurous about it. No longer will you have to wait for Paninformatic to come and then fix your printer to start with. The, when I think about programming, I feel it's like English. Same as we did with that 20 years ago, let's now embrace language of coding. And let's not think that everybody suddenly needs to start creating a Ulysses novel. That's not the point. But I want you to be able to have a conversation with any person that you meet from all over the world, you study abroad, do business abroad. You need to feel comfortable with that. Just close your eyes and imagine you are in 2015. Now, think about the CV, your CV or CV of your daughter. Now, think about the section languages. My dream would be that it looks following. Polish, native, English, fluent, coding, conversational. I understand that making yourself comfortable with technology is not an easy thing. But understanding that technology can be for me, it's important. And I didn't come here to talk with you about easy things. Let me quote President Kennedy. We chose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard and very important. Giving yourself life of possibility is hard and it's very important. And I wish you all the best with that.